Hi everybody, it's that time of year again, spring's in the air and we've got another nice litter of lurcher pups here. This little bitch is a Bedlington Deerhound cross which isn't especially common. She's bred from one of uh, Dave Platt's Deerhound Greyhound hybrids. And she's crossed with a uh, working Rillington strain Bedlington. So she's a Bedlington Deerhound. And these pups are bred from her, obviously, to a Deerhound Whippet cross. So I would expect them to make somewhere in the region of 23, 24 inches. The mother's about 22 inches, the father stands about 25 inches to the shoulder. Both working dogs, very good at what they do, know the job inside out, no problems there whatsoever. These pups born this morning in the early hours, she's got six nice strong little brindle pups here. As far as we can tell, she's got four bitches and two dogs. As you can see, they're feeding away merrily. We've kept an eye on them all day. She's only had the six, which is just a nice little litter for her to look after without too much, much trouble. They've been feeding. We've got a heat lamp on them here because even though it's been a lovely warm day today, during the night, of course, it was chilly. She had the heat lamp on last night. We'll leave the heat lamp on throughout the first week to 10 days at least day and night for them just to make sure that they don't have to struggle for the warmth and this afternoon they've been just been crashed out or feeding happy as Larry as I say all nice big strong pups all brindles varying shades you might be able to see there so over the course of the next six or eight weeks we'll be following the progress of these little ones and showing you how they grow. It might not be day by day, but certainly every few days we'll be updating these videos so that uh, you can watch them growing. This is the first litter for this young lady and uh, she's doing very well. She's taken to it like a duck to water. She's very protective of them. She's a lovely natured bitch and uh, She's no problems with us messing with them, although obviously we haven't we haven't done that too much today with it being a first day. But she's no issues with us being here whatsoever. She's got a super super temperament, as has the father. Really really good uh, natured dogs, all of them, and these pups will make ideal working dogs for anybody that wants a an all-round working lurcher or just as a pet they'll be ideal we don't yet know whether they're going to be rough or smooth coated I'd hazard a guess that we'll probably get a few of each as I say there's two dog pups and I think four bitch pups so if anybody's interested in these they can give me a call obviously it's going to be a while yet before they're ready to go but uh, if you're interested and want to know any more about them, you can always give me a call and I can fill you in completely on the breeding of these. Bred by myself, I've got the father and obviously mum's here with them, happy as Larry. Look at that. She's just been out now. We're, we're uh, about half past seven in the evening and she's been out now it's the first time she's been out since she's had them she's been in with them all day long she's been out she was literally out for two minutes and then straight back in with them again didn't want to leave them all snug and happy here feeding away merrily you can probably hear them suckling there Best thing to do for anybody who's having pups for the, f f for the first time from a bitch, always make sure your bitch turns around and that she's not always led on the same side. 
you can often find that if pups are just feeding off the teats on one side of a bitch, the milk on the other side can dry and they can tend to get mastitis. So you need to make sure your bitch turns around while she's feeding the pups. She's quite happy and content there and those pups are doing just the same. They're gonna be grown with full tummies now. Okay, so I think that'll do for the first time. We can leave her now in peace. My telephone number is 07946761435. My name's Dave and as I say, if you're interested in these pups, want to know any more about them, by all means give me a call. I think we'll leave it there. If the colour looks a bit funny, we've got the red heat lamp on them. But uh, I think they need that with it dropping so cold these, these nights at the moment. Just gives them that edge. That'll do for tonight and I'll speak to you next time. Take care and stay safe. <laughs>